Stony Brook football returned to CAA action on Saturday, October 26th against New Hampshire at Laval Stadium. Let's check the highlights now brought to you by Simplex Grinnell. We'll pick up the action in the first quarter. Seawolves with a 3-0 lead and punning from deep in their own territory. Watch as the snap sails over the head of Nick Ferrara. It's a safety, and Stony Brook now leads 3-2 early in the game. New Hampshire would take full advantage of the safety because here on the ensuing drive, check out quarterback Sean Goldrich going to tuck it under and run. Picks up 23 yards on third and 21. Then later in the drive, Goldrich going to make another nice play. Here he extends the play, floats it up on the sidelines. It's caught by Nico Steridi. A great catch for 23 yards. And that would set up this on another third down. Goldrich again airs it out to the end zone. Great grab by Justin Mello. A 23-yard touchdown strike gives New Hampshire a 9-3 lead in the first quarter. Second quarter action now, New Hampshire ahead 16-3 and looking for more. Goldrich again tries to extend the play, but this time he goes down. Julian Quinton gets the sack and a big stop for the Seawolves defense. And riding the momentum of the defensive stand, the Seawolves offense would kick into gear. Here Negron finds Adrian Coxon on play action into UNH territory. Then Negron once again going to use play action, and this time he rifles it over the middle to Malcolm Eugene inside the 30-yard line and that would eventually set up Graham Ball from 39 yards out splits the uprights to make it a 16-6 game and that would be the score as the teams headed into the locker room at halftime. Second half now Stony Brook trailing 19-6 but they would start to chip away at the deficit. Check out running back James Kenner find a hole up the middle gets a block from Malcolm Eugene down the field picks up 24 yards on the run. Then later in the drive, the Seawolves would turn back to their aerial attack. Negron with plenty of time locates Coxon once again. Nice grab inside the 10. And then on third and goal, the Seawolves dial up a play to their big tight end, Will Ty, who makes the grab in the end zone. An eight yard touchdown. And all of a sudden, Stony Brook is within striking distance at 19-13. But the Wildcats would seize the momentum right back on the ensuing drive. Goldrich again to Mello. Another beautiful catch for the touchdown. UNH takes a 25-13 lead. They would miss the two-point conversion, but that play would be the proverbial nail in the coffin. Stony Brook would get no closer in this one as the New Hampshire Wildcats come into Laval Stadium and beat the Seawolves by a score of 31-13. Stony Brook falls to 3-4 and four overall and 1-3 and three in CAA play. It was a tough day through the air for Negron, who threw for 129 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. The Seawolves will look to bounce back next week on November 2nd when they travel to Maine. Kickoff from Orono is set for 12.30 p.m.